Hey everybody, it's John here from TheGameReact.com. Here we are today back in Shenmue, grabbing the various Gacha Ketcha achievements. There are going to be a total of three of them, each of them for getting a certain amount of Gachapon capsule toys from the Gachapon machines. So the three achievements are going to be for getting one toy, 25 toys, and 50 toys, respectively. You can come across your first set of machines once you head into Sakura Goka, head to the convenience store, which is going to be right here. There are going to be two machines here. The green one, which gives you Sonic toys, and the yellow one, which gives you Virtua Fighter toys. What you basically want to do is you want to walk up to them and then buy the toys. They are going to cost you 100 yen each. You start the game out with 10,300 yen and you are given 500 yen every day as your allowance. You can also earn yen by doing your job as well as hitting up the slot machine at the slot house. But whatever the case, all you have to do is just keep hitting up the machines until you get 50. Now there are going to be about 119 total toys that count towards the achievement. If you look in your inventory, you might notice you have some toys already. Those were originally part of the Shenmue Passport, which was an old Dreamcast feature that no longer exists. Those do not count towards the achievement, so make sure you don't count those if you're checking your inventory. Other than that, all you have to do really is just wait here and then just blow money on all of the toys. Now, each different type of machine you come across in the game will have its own set of toys, and obviously to get up to 50, you need to go to different machines in order to knock down the list. So, what I recommend doing is hitting up one particular machine until you start getting a bunch of doubles in a row. Once that happens, just make sure you switch machines. So, as you can see here in front of the convenience store, you have two machines. The Sonic one, which will give you Sonic toys, and then the Virtual Fighter ones, which will give you Virtual Fighter toys. Another thing to keep in mind is the Virtual Fighter toys are going to be numbered. There's a version 1 as well as a version 2. Each of them will count as a different toy, so you don't have to worry about duplicates if you get two different versions. So you should be able to hammer out your first 25 to 30 here, and you get an achievement once you hit the halfway point, which is 25. So you want to kind of aim for getting your first two achievements right at these two machines. Now, another note to keep in mind is that the latter two achievements are going to be a little glitchy. For example, I didn't get my 25 toys achievement until I was at about the 28 mark, and I didn't pop my 50 toys achievement until I was at about 53. So keep that in mind that the achievement might pop a little late for you. My only advice to get around that is to keep buying toys until it actually does pop. So as you can see, we finished up the two machines right there and got our 25 achievement when we were about 28 toys deep. Now, once you've exhausted those two machines, what you want to do is you want to take the right path down into Dabuita Street. So just take the path that is all foresty and then go down the street, head down the stairs. The last building on your right, as soon as the road starts to split, is going to be the arcade. And there are going to be another two machines here. There's going to be the Sega machine, which dispenses all of the non- Sonic Sega characters and there's going to be the Virtual Fighter Kids Machine which will give you all the kid variants of all the Virtual Fighters. So you should be able to knock out your 50 between these four machines. If for whatever reason you can't get the achievement yet or you just have horrible luck and keep getting doubles, there are going to be another two types of machines that appear later on at the harbor which both give you different types of vehicles. So between those six you should get 50 no problem. I'll leave a little list in the description with all of the different toys you can pull from each different machine, but as soon as you hit 50, you should be given the last achievement. There it is, it's going to be for 30 gamer score, and that's all there is to it. 